What is going on guys? It is your boy because we are here for another episode of the Pokemon Shining Pearl Let's Play. The game came out yesterday and I just woke up. So I knew I just wanted to go ahead and record straight away. So if you guys are brand new from the last episode and you guys are seeing today's episode, hi, my name is Beagles of Yo Boy Beagles. Now that there is sun outside, I can be a little bit louder. I am crazy. I am weird. I am unorthodox. I am loud. And I am a little bit hyper, as you can plainly see. And like I said, we're just going to be getting straight into this game because I don't want to do a whole bunch of lollygagging or anything like that. We actually really don't have a team set up just yet as well and we're also going to be facing our very first trainer i did a little bit of grinding to get our god badoof up to level seven and pretty much that's about it i had to make sure i put chimchar into the pc for experience ah uh, da, da, the experience share that's right because the experience share is actually it's honestly it's the only thing that i have found bad so far about this game i'm not gonna lie it's kind of weird to realize that throughout the years of pokemon when you first started pokemon it was a grind fest like back in red and blue and and yellow to be fair because that was all gen one but now you get the experience here no matter what happens i really wish they would be able to turn them off but unfortunately, it's not that way anymore. And I also know in the last episode, because everybody knows the Sinnoh region, these are just quote end quote remakes. You know what? I also forgot to put on my hat. Hold up. Hold up. Because this game is all about hats. Because check out the hat. Um, anywho, the very first trainer has a level five. So I want to make sure that we trained up the Bidoof to level seven to hopefully be at a good enough level to be able to take care of both of these trainers and if i'm not mistaken we should be able to because this badoof is gone because there is only one god badoof and that is our badoof and you know i just wanted to use a bit okay you have a second badoof i thought i thought it was only one one but they actually you're pretty decent level in the beginning i'm okay with that i wonder what they actually changed in the there's got to be certain things that they did change. These can't be identical remakes. Because if they were, then what's the whole point of making these games and how long it actually took for us to actually get these games? Because everybody was asking for these remakes. I wasn't entirely asking for these remakes. I mean, Sinnoh is a fun region. Don't get me wrong. But my remakes already came out. I'm a hoen baby. So Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I mean, that that's, that's my cup of tea. But the question is, the question every, in everyone's mind is, when is Black and White going to get their remakes? Are we going to have remakes all the way through the generations, though? I don't know if that's a possibility, because Sword and Shield is already on the Nintendo Switch. That's what I'm really confused about. I just want to say, the animations for getting into battles are so much quicker than Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> the health drops are so much better than diamond and pearl the fact that you don't hear that red that ding, 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 every single time is amazing and i love it to death uh that's another trainer w uh, i don't remember this many trainers on this route to be honest with you during my training i did use a few potions as well but this is just a let's play we're here to have fun we're just here to explore the Sinnoh region and just talk and have a good time and okay that is one thing because i was actually talking to sanak who's actually doing his own let's play on his channel so go check that out if you want if you want to see another perspective because like i said in the first episode he is a sino baby through and through he could not find a shinx with intimidate he was getting rivalry every single time on my end, the only thing I could find was Intimidate. I couldn't find a Rivalry Shinx. And if you don't know, it'll show up on your screen if it's an Intimidate or... Well, if it's an Intimidate mom because it's in, Intimidation! But yeah, that we we got paralyzed. Let's not Shinx. Uh, we're not a water type yet, so this is still a good battle if we can actually win. That is a level 5 Shinx. Uh, we are going to back out. I wonder if they did the same thing with Burns. Because I'm now I'm starting to think competitive wise, did it because the burn aspect actually lowers your attack. Well, does it lower? Does it half your attack stat? I think it might actually lower. Your, I don't know. 
Because I'm not the competitive person. I, well, no. False. False. I am a competitive person. I am a very competitive person. But when it comes to Pokemon, I don't play competitive. I know certain things like move sets and what can learn what and this and that. But then on the other hand, it's like, you know what? No, wait. You're not a trainer, but that is an item. I want everything. I want absolutely everything I can find. I wonder if the hidden items are the same exact way in this game. Or is it like Sword and Shield where it has a sparkle? Now, I do know that someone is going to pop up here. Oh my gosh, it's Dawn! Hi, Big Earth. Are you catching Pokemon? I think you feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. Well, we're gonna catch some more eventually, but we have to find them. In Jubilife City, there's a trainer's school, which, well, you know. Because you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh, yes, Barry went to the trainer's school earlier. Bye, catch you later. Hasta la pasta. Uh, I don't... See, this is, this is what's gonna be the cool thing about... About this about replaying through the Sinnoh region. I don't know all the nooks and cranny of the regular Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum. So I do plan on trying to talk to a lot of people to see if they actually give you anything. I really like this character design. I already like that character design. The fact that the hair is as long as the body. <laughs> um, but I wanna make sure I talk to all the NPCs to see if I get anything extra because again like I said I have no idea if anybody gives you uh, hey oh trainer do you know which about the Pokemon I see you're quite very indeed go to the trainer school ha <laughs> okie dokie what, what what is there anything in here that someone gives me I may have to do I, I don't want to do this off screen this is the whole point of Pokemon. You gotta talk to people. The problem that I have is there are so... Do those windows have handles? <laughs> um... Okay, it's the very- it's the very tiny things that I am seeing so far. Like the fact that these characters remind me of... What is... Back when I was like a little, little kid, there was a cartoon called I think it was little people this is what this is reminding me of wait the, uh, this is the global trade center okay I just have to figure out if that is a possibility that we can do that yet wait can we still do uh can we make like a team or something and we did the trainer school I know it's a little sudden, but would you like to join a group? If you join a group, you can compete or cooperate with fellow members. I'm going to hold off on that, but we can actually indeed do that, which is actually kind of cool. Maybe I'll make a team to like, I wonder if that team can be with other people. Like if I could do that with my man, there's the old rod. Now, that's going to be for Magikarps. It's not going to be able to catch what I want. Did you need any tips on it? Absolutely not. I don't need tips on it. But I know we can't really go this way. Can we? Ah! That is one thing about this game so far. The loading is kind of long. I asked my boy Ben to meet me on Route 218. I will say, look at the shadows, though. Look at the shadows! Look at the cloud! Eventually, and then all of a sudden... Bah! There's a sun. I don't like the sun. Every time I go outside, I get sunburnt. I could go outside for five minutes and then get sunburnt. It's it's wild, and I don't like it. Okay, what else in Jubilife City is there to... I want to go in this little corner right here. What else in Ju... Oh, we have to go to the trainer... Is that really the only thing that we can do right now is go to the trainer school? I don't want to go to the trainer school just yet. Because I know there's Pokemon battles in there. I don't want to! I want to explore. What's wrong with exploring? Keep developing the Poke Catch apps. Uh, okay. I know where this place is. This place is to increase on the Poke... Do... Is it Poke... Po I just read it. And I already met 
you know what, we're going to the Pokemon school because we need to learn. I read on a fourth grade reading level. Hopefully this place can actually teach me how to read. I wrote an essay on a notebook that makes it a true Pokemon trainer. It's a notebook filled with writing. Let's see. Pokemon are to be caught using Pokeballs. Up to six Pokemon are accompanied by a trainer. A trainer is someone who catches Pokemon, raises them, and battles them with them. A trainer's mission is to defeat the strong trainers on a way challenge some Pokemon chips. <gasps> okay, trying to say that all in one breath didn't work. Pokemon are smart enough to use items they're holding, but they they won't know what to do with human-made items like potions and... You know, I never thought about that. I always thought they would just, you know, use items, but I guess apparently I was wrong. You just became a trainer, did you? You should look up topics that are not familiar with you. Hey, look! He's recording this too! We learned about Pokemon types today. Um, grass is fire. That is wrong in a reverse lock, just saying. Alright. I know these guys battle you, so I'm gonna go ahead and do these battles real quick, like, because I think they give you, they either give you an item or a TM, or do they give you berries? I don't know. Sending out Abra. Okay, this is gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. All it has is teleport. Why did you give him an Abra? What? Abra can have moves? Abra can have moves? That's gonna make training Abra so much easier. I mean, to be fair, Magikarp finally started to get some mu <laughs> moves. Moves? It gets Tackle, Flail, and I think it learns Hydro Pump by like TR and Sword and Shield. I don't, I'm not 100% positive on that. That was kind of wild to see an Abra have Charge Beam though. Because special attack stat rising even more is kind of busted. Well, you didn't give me diddly squat. What about your friend over here? Let's have you battle me. Are you going to have something weird too? You have an Abra as well. You are going to have charge beam. Or maybe something else. I would not be surprised if it's something completely different than the charge beam. Nope, it's charge beam. Okay. That is really, really good to know, though. I actually like that a lot. Because now Abra can actually do something instead of just sit there. <laughs> instead of just sit there. Now, I don't think we live. We do live. <laughs> we live because it's God Bidoof. I plan on using Bidoof for the foreseeable future, at least right now. And then if I get into a situation like I am right now where I need to use Mustang, I will. But I want to use Bidoof as much as I possibly can and see what goes on. Uh, I've been studying every day. It says something about TMs. TM10! I'm guessing it's Charge Beam. I'm pretty... It's Work Up. It's work up. So why did you guys have charge beam then? Um, okay. I get three of them. Oh, they're not reusable. Hold up. They're not reusable. Okay, so I hate that already. Not gonna lie. I already hate the fact that we can't reuse TMs like in Sword and Shield. I know. I know that's the... Sinnoh version like Sinnoh that's how it was excuse me you only got one chance to use the TM but at the same time I'm looking at it going because eh. compet again back to competitive competitive battling is all still in sword and shield if I'm not mistaken because there's still there's still a timer why is there a timer Arr. all right Barry what's go what's going on with you Hey, Beagers, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's a trainer's job to avoid having these precious Pokemon hurt and battle, right? So, Beagers, what brings you here? You got something for me? You delivered the parcel. So, what's that? Score! It's a town map! Huh, why are there two hidden here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Beagers, you take one. bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da bum 
Well, according to the town map, I guess Orgberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it's perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to become the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to leave for a second. That was a little delayed, but I'm okay with that. And now we get to go meet up with... Well, we get to meet up with two different people. And I don't know how you guys feel about one of them. But I'm going to be honest, I'm not a big fan of Mr. Brown. That's how I'm going to put it. Just like Mr. Green, uh, what is it, uh, Colonel Mustard, Miss Peacock. Uh, uh, what, what were the people from Clue? Is Miss Peacock, is Miss Scarlet. Miss Scarlet, Professor Plum, you got Colonel Mustard, Mr. Green, and Miss, Miss White. That's right. Uh, oh, you're a Pokemon trainer, but you don't have a Pokech yet. Pokech is short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my, you're a great character indeed. You see, I invented and now manufactured Potech. Potech. Not only that, I'm now conducting the Potech promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns to Belife City. If you find them, I'll give you a very own Potech. Okay, if I'm... Alright, let's see if these questions are the exact same. I'm not, I'm not giving these clowns a voice. Let's roll out my question. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating other players by gaining experience points? Yes! Alright. Give us the first coupon. Now, I will I will say this. In the very first time that I actually played through the Sinnoh region, it was weird to see that... I, I could never find the third clown. Or, I guess, technically the second clown. Because this is coupon three. Why did they do that? Why is that the third coupon? And this is the second coupon because technically you're going to meet up with that clown first. Not to mention all these questions are yes. There is no no. The answers to these questions are all yes. That's why I can just spam it and talk to you guys and be like, Hi! You received the Podek. We can press the R button to open the Potek control it by using the touch screen and hold down the R button to close it. But there is no touch screen. My screen isn't touch screen. That's touch screen, but this is not. Um, Does it have to be touch screen? Whoa! That just enlarged. <laughs> I was <laughs> I was not expecting it to enlarge. What did I do? I can't close it. Can't close it completely. Okay, so you click the button to get it up. You click the button again to expand it to what you want. I love how everything keeps going on in the background. Like it should. And then you hold it to get rid of it. Okay. I like that. Can we can we pass you? We can! Hey you, yes, you with the cool scarf. Running by earlier quickly? Okay. That's right. We have to go battle our rival next. I do know if I remember properly. Hey, give us that paralyzed heal. Every item counts. It's just like every penny counts in real life. Now, can I catch a Bweasel? Or what is on this route? Well, I just gave away one of my team members. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but I'm thinking I'm thinking out loud at this point. But you know what? We have a Bidoof, which is fine. I think Bidoof learned was Water Gun, so we should be good against the very first gym. But that is a level 7 Bidoof. We need to pop up some levels quick-like. Uh, that is one thing about these that I've just... Okay. It's not that 
let's be real. I've gotten a little spoiled. I think everybody, when it comes to PokeTubers, have gotten a little spoiled when it comes to this. The speed up aspect that we have on a normal basis. Now, we don't. We don't get the... What's the word I'm looking for? I guess satisfaction of using the speed up button anymore. It's kind of... I hate to say that it's kind of wild, but it is. It is. Not to mention, guys, my recording is all over here. My gameplay is over here. My phone is here. I'm looking at my phone for time-wise, because I don't want these videos to go too far, because I know, because in the last episode, it went a little further than I wanted it to, because I'm so excited about these games, so I'm like, looking at my phone and making sure that I have like the right, right timing for this and everything like that. This is a Magikarp. I don't think we can get, you know what, you guys already know, I'm going to get a Bweasel eventually for this Let's Play, because I've never played with a Bleed, a Bweasel or a Floatzel before. And I wanted to add that to the team. So I guess we're going to find out. I think I might do that instead of Bidoof. I love God Bidoof. Um, don't get me wrong. But I think and Bidoof, Bidoof gets love. Bidoof gets love. And I've never played with a Floatzel. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do eventually down the road. Now, I do want to use Bidoof a lot because Bidoof is, yeah, Bidoof is God. There's a reason you catch a Bidoof. But, Buizel also gets Aqua Jet. And this doesn't have Simple. We have Unaware, which I actually looked at the natures and stuff like that. I know it's a Let's Play. It's not going to matter too, too much. But, I have heard, because unfortunately, it's so hard to stay away from all the spoils. Spoils? Spoilers. Apparently... Cynthia is going to be super duper duper hard and I don't know if it's the champion or the because I know you can rematch Cynthia and I think it might be the rematch is why she's super super hard but I also come to think about it Togekiss now has the fairy typing and that is going to make things a little harder. So I need to figure out exactly what kind of Pokemon I want to have to compete with a Togekiss. Because Togekiss with Serene Grace flinching is going to be stupid. Absolutely stupid broken. And it's going to wreck my entire career. We have one more trainer that we can battle up here and I think we can actually is it one more or is it two you don't battle us but can we get what I want in here I don't think we can get the Pokemon that I want in here just yet no cuz I'm not gonna spoil that one that one I'm not spoiling I'm, I'm gonna try my absolute hardest to not spoil the team for you guys even though I kind of just did Sorry, I didn't mean to. Antidote. No, I think in here we can only catch Zubat and Geodude in here. I might be wrong. I'm going to battle this trainer and we're going to battle the rival. I think that is the plan so far because I need to be able to make it what I might do since exploring is going to be basically in towns and not in the routes in small routes or routes that we don't have a lot going on in i'm probably going to go through the routes do my training get to the city do my like i, I won't go into any yeah, why you gotta have poison point see badu was actually one of them that i was thinking about adding to the team to get a rose raid but i don't know I have another grass type in mind that I'm looking forward to using because I haven't... Have I got to use that one before? I actually have got to use that one. Should I say this though? I will say it. I have used this grass type for a Pokemon challenge. It, if you guys are trying to guess what kind of team members are going, I'm going to give you subtle hints because I can't keep it... I, I'm not very good with secrets. 
I'm not very good with secrets, and I apologize for that. Like, when it comes to Christmas time, there are a few people. We just learned rollout. Hmm. Now we are gonna be. Now we're gonna be like Optimus Prime and just roll out and kill everything in our path. Normally, I hate using rollout in like a Nuzlocke or anything like that, which is normally what I do on the channel is Nuzlocke's. But there are very few on the channel so far, like uh, Sword and this one. Actually, these are the only two that I've done as Let's Plays, which maybe I'll actually do. Well, everything that we do on here is a Let's Play because I need your guys' help for a Let's Play. Like, if you want to see specific Pokemon on the team that's not super, super popular, let me know in the comment section down below because you never know. I might need a little bit of assistance when it comes to... Uh, doing our team and just putting it together what's going on barry and let's go ahead and battle you i think you have you have a starly and a we have the fire type so that means you're gonna have piplup those are the only two mods you're gonna have starly and piplup and i'm okay with that uh we're just gonna use rollout we're just gonna spam rollout and kill everything in our path it's so Fun to realize that I can use moves like this because rollout is really really strong when you let it get to a certain don't get cocky kid this isn't over yet I know this is the first Pokemon I hit you once why am I getting cocky I am NOT a cocky person let's not and say we did Starly now I'm gonna get cocky because you called me cocky I want the Starly to go away we're gonna have four and five against Piplup as long as we do not miss I said something. I said something. Of course I had to say something. If I wouldn't have said something, we would have been just fine and we would have rolled through Barry like... I'm trying to think of a movie reference. I'm gonna say who framed Roger Rabbit and it was at the very end of the movie when the cartoon guy or the evil villain gets rolled over by a const what are those construction vehicles called it's not a bulldozer or anything like that it's a um i don't know what those are called actually come to think about it like when you put down your when you put down the cement and you start rolling over it to like make it flat it's not like off of cars because that was betty was it betty i think it was betty or betsy i think it was betsy from cars anywho my Pokemon's HP is low. This could be... This... I wasn't able to read it all. I guess because I have the text on... Ah! Oh, God! Why you gotta do that? I didn't say anything about rollout. How did you miss? It's a penguin! Penguins don't move that... Well, that is a lie. <laughs> I've seen happy feet. <laughs> I have seen happy feet. And those things can go fast did we learn another move that i didn't know about on chimchar it didn't say well maybe it did and i'm just spamming the a button which is another thing when it comes to this game the running shoes are automatically on which is actually pretty cool but at the same time i'm so used to holding down the b button and running that i'm still currently doing that it's kind of wild but i do like it not gonna lie, I do prefer that over holding down the B button to run because even in Gen 1, I still hold down the B button. Do you guys do the same thing? Is it just natural to hold down the B button after, you know, as long as we've played Pokemon? Because I've played Pokemon for absolute years. What is this Piplup doing? Why aren't you using Water Gun on me yet? You're an idiot. You're an idiot! Why haven't you used Water Gun on me? I would have been gone, G-O-N-E, gone, if you would have used that. Okay, Barry, you do your thing. The expressions on these faces, though, that is what I think is beautiful so far about this entire game. Now, like, I do like the, the graphics and the animations and stuff like that so far. I'm really looking forward to if they're going to have any cutscenes, because Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon had some good cutscenes, Sword and Shield had some good cutscenes, 
but I don't know if this one is going to have it. I'm trying to think if Sinnoh had anything like that before. I don't think so. I might be wrong on that. But with that being said, guys, thank you guys for all the love and support. I'm going to end it off here. And we are going to continue on our adventure for the foreseeable future until we finish the game. So, thank you guys for all the love and support. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you're not a part of the Beagles Brigade, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, the comment section. You guys know the deal. You guys know the spiel. And I will see you guys in the very next episode.